adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are a part of the body and they are responsible for releasing three classes of hormones. Androgens, aka testosterone. Glucocorticoids, aka cortisol. All corticoids and aldosterone. These hormones control many important functions of the body, such as Maintaining metabolic processes such as man managing blood sugar levels and regulating inflammation. Regulating the balance of salt and water. Controlling the fight or flight response to stress. Maintaining pregnancy. Initiating and controlling sexual maturation during childhood and puberty. Here's an example of one of the five functions that we mentioned. Adrenal glands play an important and vital role in the flight or fight response system. So let's say, this first scenario, that there's a dog in your path. And the dog is very vicious and possibly a killer, right? So, what will your adrenal glands do? Case in point, let's go over to Lisette. <laughs> let's see how her adrenal glands affect her flight or fight response. Will she fight the dog or run away from the dog? Apparently, she wants to fight with the dog. <laughs> glands are situated on top of on top of each kidney. The adrenal glands are also an important source of sex steroids such as estrogen and testosterone. <laughs> okay, both in anatomy and in function, they consist of two distinct regions. The adrenal cortex and the adrenal medulla. <laughs> The adrenal medulla consists of irregularly shaped cells that are arranged in groups around blood vessels. These cells are intimately connected with the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. In fact, the adrenal medullary cells are modified postganglion neurons and preganglionic autonomic nerve fibers lead to them from the central nervous system. The adrenal cortex, which makes up the bulk of the adrenal gland, is composed of closely packed masses of epithelial cells arranged in layers. These layers form an outer, a middle, and an inner zone of the cortex. As in the case of the cells of the adrenal medulla, the cells of the adrenal cortex are well supplied with blood vessels. So, um, yeah, we're pretty sure that you didn't understand all that technical stuff. To be honest, we don't understand it either. So, uh, this is us studying. <laughs> so. Um, so what does the adrenal medulla secrete? It secretes epinephrine. Epinephrine? Yeah, and 
epinephrine. Oh, but I kind of forgot what that is, so let's just do it. Um, epinephrine is adrenaline, and norepinephrine is not noradrenaline, so basically, yeah. And these substances have similar molecular structure. Wow, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mr. Shea, help us out, man. <laughs> okay, all um, right. Uh, they basically help in like a stress situation. That's all I know. This is not working. <laughs> yeah, and like when I was being chased by and the, the, hormone the, the hormones, the hormones of the <laughs> renal cortex. So was it nor pr pretty much norepinephrine and epinephrine? Yeah. Are secreted, but in the adrenal glands. Yeah. yeah. And a whole bunch of other hormones. Oh, like estrogen. What else? Effects and non and Oh, you could say the effects and stuff. Okay. <laughs> epinephrine. Heart rate increases. Neopinephrine. Less effect. Rate may slow. Blood vessels. Force of contraction increases. You know what? This this oh. thing is gonna make me get a freaking heart attack. Okay. Oh. oh god. <laughs> I don't want to learn about adrenal glands anymore. Mm. Mm. Let's go home. <laughs> and that's all, folks. Adrenals! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, release. Release!